it's Bonnie from Boulder Bon. I'm finally doing an updated craft room office tour, plus giving you a little sneak peek of my bedroom because all three of those are in the same exact room. So um, if you haven't seen the first video of my craft room, I think I did it a couple of years ago. I'll put a little card over here if you guys want to check that out and see um, the two differences. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn you guys around and walk you through the door. All right, so this is what it looks like when you first walk inside. I'm gonna give you a brief overlook of the bedroom portion first because I had a lot of requests for that the last time. Um, and then I'll give you an overall look of the whole room. Um, so back on this whole wall is pretty much my office um, portion. I do have some craft supplies over here as well. And then on the left-hand side, you can see Lily is on the dress desk here. Um, this is usually um, for my plan with me videos, um, any of my craft projects. I do like to keep this desk completely clear pretty much all the time. So if I am going to film or craft, um, it's ready to do so. So why don't we go ahead and start with this portion first. All right, so starting with the left side over here, I do have two Alex five drawer units from Ikea. The tabletop is also from Ikea, but I did put on a marble um, adhesive top to it. Now moving right up top, I have a very large mirror sitting right up top. I had initially thought I was going to put my makeup in these drawers but decided against that but I really liked how the mirror looked here anyway um, that is from home goods most of the stuff I get is probably from home goods TJ Maxx or from Ikea but I will try and state where I get things from um, the little lamp over here I got from Target and then moving on to the desktop sitting right on the left here I have my Crayola um, super tip markers. Now there are a ton of these markers. Um, I will probably move these into one of the um, Alex drawers down below because I do like to keep this tabletop clear, but I have been using them so frequently lately on my new bullet journal that I have been keeping them out for now. Um, up top here, I do have a little candle burning. That is a little produce candle and it smells so delicious. I also have a cute little hole punch here. This is from Recollections. A tripod that I use to do my plan with me videos or any hand videos. I really like this one because it has a level here so I make sure that the camera is steady and not crooked. It also has a top here where you can adjust it so my camera usually faces right on down towards the table and then on the bottom here I have a cute little stack of thank you cards I just thought it looked really well with the marble base and then the mint envelopes match the recollections hole punch I just thought that was adorable and then I have my um, scotch like thermal heating pouch thing sitting right up top here and then to the right is my ring light so this is my prismatic ring light I love that I usually use that for my face videos um, or just to light up this area while I'm doing my plan with me's. I usually have that light on as well, but it seemed a little too much for this video. So um, I'm not gonna go over all of the drawers in here. I will be doing a video on that because I do need to do a lot of decluttering of this. Um, I do have a video of this drawer, um, all of my planner society stuff. The second drawer is kind of like my crafts um, drawer drawer so things that I'm working on go in here. Um, I also have my Tombow markers because I've been using those a lot lately. Um, why don't I go ahead and show you the bottom drawer. That one is chaotic right now. Um, it is my washi drawer and look it is just overflowing with washi. Um, so like I said I do need to do a decluttering of all of the stuff in my drawers because there's no way that I can use that amount of washi. All right so moving on to the right hand side I'm going to go over a couple of the drawers again in here. So the first one here is like my everyday craft 
craft drawer. So almost like an everyday makeup drawer, but a craft style drawer that everything that I need um, for any project is pretty much right in this drawer. Um, I have a bunch of stickers. I even have like die cuts in here. Um, random, random stuff, but anything that I could pretty much need or think of is right up top here. All of my acrylic containers I got at the container store. I absolutely love them. Um, I have all of my Erin Condren dual tip markers here, a little chapstick, and a washi. And then underneath, um, tons of little doodads, so tape, um, scissors, more stickers underneath there, post-it notes, anything. Um, a bunch of pens and more washi over here. I even have a little um, Christian Design hand sanitizer there. All right, and then the next drawer, I also did a full video on this one, and this is all of my Erin Condren stuff. So again, I'll leave a little card there if you guys wanna see that video. And then the third drawer here is where I keep all of my stickers. So um, I do have this sorted in container store files. Um, I just cut the top of the file off. I also have it um, in categories as well. Um, so this is where I come and get all of my stickers when I'm doing with my plan with me. I just sit right next to it and I'm able to open up the drawer and get my stickers as I'm planning. So it's been very convenient. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in this drawer, but guys, this is ridiculous. So this is where I come to get all of my Use It Up stickers when I do my Use It Up video. You guys can see it's just like used up sheets of stickers, so little sticker bits here and there, and it is just overflowing. Um, so I think that when I do my decluttering video, I might even just box these up for somebody to win during that video. I don't know. Let me know down below. Would you guys be interested in winning like all of these used up sticker sheets? Maybe somebody might like them. I'm not sure, but I definitely have more than I can handle right now. All right, so moving on to the right here, I do have a little bookcase on the bottom there I got at Target. Um, the little file folders off onto the left here I got at um, Recollections. In the middle there are all of my old Erin Condren planners and then some drawing books on the left hand side. Um, up top in the left and the right hand corner are uh, like sticker papers, um, like just regular um, printing paper and stuff like that. In the middle, I have some extra binders. There's really nothing inside of those binders. They're just sitting there um, waiting to be filled up. Now, right up top here, I have a big stack of scrapbook paper. Um, this is typically things that printed um, incorrectly or I couldn't get um, the cutter to read. So I keep that paper and don't waste it and write down or jot down things on here that I can just throw away and not have to keep in a planner. Off to the right here, I have this adorable mug that says Girl Boss and Boulder Bond with my old um, logo. Um, I got that from Nikki and she got that from Oh Hello Stationery Co. And then off to the left here, I have a cute little art piece that my best friend made for me. It says, do what you love. I just absolutely love it. Now sitting right on top, I have four white bins. I got these from Target. Now I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I will leave a link to them down below. Um, I have all of my sticker storage in here. This is for my shop. Um, it's pretty much um, my weekly sets or my monthly sets. Anything that is more than one sticker sheet pretty much gets sorted in here. I made these dividers and I absolutely love them. I need to make more because I'm getting more and more stickers um, added to the store lately. And then sitting right below that, I have a cubicle with two little cubes in there. Um, I got this at Michael's, I believe. On the right is some more stationery from Michael's. I also have a little birch box full of like just pens and stuff down there. And then on the left here is Happy Mail, either things that I have ordered or letters from you guys that I need to um, return thank you cards for. And then moving on to the right here, I'll back up and give you guys an overall view of 
this. So these two, I believe, are Anna Griffin um, paper storage. I'll leave the link to them down below as well. I keep a lot of my um, 12 by 12 papers in here. They are very large. Um, I also have um, just a few little things, nothing too exciting. Um, I keep all of my mats right up top for my silhouette here. Um, I also have um, some cutters, batteries, things like that, all silhouette related. Um, and then let's see what's in here. Yeah, so a lot of my 12 by 12 papers go in here. Now, it's not my favorite system and actually these drawers slip around a lot and don't have a stopper in the back so if it had a stopper I think I would like it a little bit more but I don't like that they kind of get all wonky and um, out of place uh, these slide around a, a lot as well so um, I'll probably look for something different in the future but for now it works all right for me and then sitting right on top I have all of my hole punches in between here um, um, I do have also a little light stand that I glued to the top of this. Um, I did have another silhouette machine sitting below here and silhouettes need lighting. Um, I also have two other silhouettes sitting right on top. This is um, like a shoe storage rack that I turned upside down. Um, a little macaron container here. Um, this I got at Go Wild and I just kept it. I just thought it was so adorable and it just sits right on top here. And then this cute little lamp here I also got at Target. All right, now moving on to my last desk here. This is my main desk. You guys can see my iMac is sitting right on top there. Um, if you guys wanna know where I got the screen saver from, I'll leave the link to that down below. I really like having my time right in front of me. Sitting right on top here, I have a little file system here. I got this at TJ Maxx. I just turned it upside down so I can actually place things up top here. So I have a mirror here also from TJ J Max, and then I have my iPad Pro. I do a lot of my drawings on here, so I always like to have it on hand. That way, if I do get inspired, I can just draw right away. I also have a stack of stickers that I use um, to, on a daily basis when I pack my orders, and then these are extra stickers that I need to get cut. Um, so I do have a system with this area here. Now, my iPhone sitting right up top here as well, of course. I also have my Polaroid Zip sitting right up top as well. I've been using this a lot lately in my bullet journal, so I wanted to have it sitting out. That way, um, if I have any pictures that I wanna transfer, it's already there. And then I also have a coaster sitting here. I either have coffee or water sitting here pretty much like 24-7. And then off to the right here, this whole container, I actually get a lot of questions about in my YouTube videos. I got this at Home Goods a long time ago. I actually have seen it there recently, so it may still be around. Um, it has one little drawer on the bottom here. Um, this is like filled up with like a scale, an extra little tripod, and then old business cards. Um, I also have more cards, you know, stationary, and me just go hand in hand another little notebook and then this is where I keep all of my pretty much single stickers or backup stickers in all of these binder books. Um, I have it right next to me so when I'm packing my orders I can grab them right away. And then I also have my planners over here. Um, these are the ones that I'm using pretty much on a daily basis. So of course my Erin Condren life planner. I also have my bullet journal here along with an Erin Condren pouch that I keep all of the pens that I'm using in it so far. And then this this one is an Erin Condren notebook that I keep my budget in. Now I also did a video on my 2018 budget. If you guys want to see that, I'll leave a little card over here. And then on the right here, I have a little bin here. I got this at Michael's. It has three more binders that I have all of my shop stickers in. Then up top here, I have four little shelves. I got those at Target and I just placed them kind of haphazardly actually. Um, so they're not the best. I do have a cute little recollections planner just displayed up here that says capture every moment. Um, down below, I think you guys see this in my video quite frequently, is a Tarte eyeshadow palette. 
Off to the left here, I have a cute little porcelain container. I actually got that thrifting. And then I also have an Erin Condren frame. Um, you can't see it. It says, things are about to get really good. I really like having motivational quotes surrounding me when I'm working. And then down on the last level here, I have all of my face brushes, my eye brushes, a ton of random pens in here. So some Sharpie pens, um, my gel pens, and then all of my paper mate flares that I absolutely love are in there. So that is everything up top. I do have one more picture up here and it is gold with a marble background. You guys can see my theme of my room here. It says, don't quit your daydream. I also got that from my best friend, Kate, which I just love so much. And then the last thing I have sitting right up top here is my Erin Condren dust pad. I also have my mouse sitting right up top. It makes a great um, mouse pad as well. It is a very large, so it is really nice and handy. I come and use this every single morning with my coffee and organize what I need to get done for that day. Um, so Monday through Sunday on here, I write down my top three um, to-do list. If you guys want to see how I I use this. I also have a plan with me using this as well. Now I don't know if I'll go over all of these drawers. Um, I'll show you my everyday makeup drawer. The left hand side is pretty much all of my makeup, nail polish, um, beauty care on the left hand side because I do use it as my um, bedroom also. Um, so that is a look at my everyday makeup drawer. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek at what's in here. I have been doing a ton of decluttering. So you guys can see my like lipstick container is pretty much almost empty there. Um, so that is all of my beauty on the left there. And on the right hand side, all of these drawers are used for work. Um, I'll show you the top drawer here. It's nothing too exciting. Um, when I am packing all of my orders, I have all of my freebies that for that month right up top. I also have um, cut little like, I don't know, um, just cute little shapes that I can write like little thank yous um, to you guys. And then I have my plastic sheets that I fill all of them. I also have like scissors, washi. I even have like a measuring tape in here. Um, in the middle here are stickers that I'm working on. And then in the back are oops sheets that I'm waiting to package up. So that was a look at my craft room, office, and a bit of my bedroom. I will try and leave all the links down below to everything that I mentioned, but if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. I always love reading your comments and answering your questions. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love to have you stick around for a bit. I do planner videos, organization videos, and lots of lifestyle videos as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!